Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a radical expression. We have the quantity 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 to the 8th power, and we have 1 minus root 5 divided by 2 to the 8th power, and we're going to be adding those expressions. So, you can obviously start with something like this. You can take 1 plus root 5 over 2, you can raise it to the 8th power using the binomial theorem. That's going to be kind of time consuming. Or if you want, you can kind of take this expression, square it. Let's square it for fun. This is going to give us 6 plus 2 root 5 divided by 4. If you simplify this, you're going to get something like 3 plus root 5 over 2. And then in order to get the fourth power, you can just go ahead and take the square and square that again. So to get this expression to the fourth power, I just need to take the square and square it one more time. And this is going to give us something like 9 plus 5, which is 14, and then plus 6 root 5 divided by 4. And if you simplify this, you're going to get 7 plus 3 root 5 over 2. So this is the fourth power. And if you go ahead and square that one more time, you're going to get the eighth power, so on and so forth. Okay. But I'm going to be using a different approach here. So you can consider this the first method, which is not uh, going to be finalized. But my actually, uh, my second method, or whatever you want to call that, is going to be a little different. So I'm going to call the first part x, so I'm going to use substitution. And the second piece, I'll call that y. And you know why, I'm going to use substitution, right? Okay. So now my goal is to find x to the 8th power plus y to the 8th power. First of all, notice that x plus y is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 plus 1 minus root 5 over 2. The root 5 cancels out, leaving us with 2 divided by 2, which is 1. And then also consider xy. If you multiply 1 plus root 5 over 2 and 1 minus root 5 over 2, you can use difference of two squares, which is 1 minus 5 divided by 4. As you know, this is negative 4 divided by 4, and that is equal to negative 1. So, I kind of have a system of equations, and from that, I want to find the sum of the eighth powers. So what do I have? I have x plus y equals 1, and xy equals negative 1. Okay, you can set up a quadratic equation and solve for x and y, but you don't need to because we already know what x and y are, so y, why should we try to solve it? Our goal is to find x to the eighth power plus y to the eighth power, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to take x plus y and square it, Obviously, when you square 1, you're going to get 1. And this is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. That should equal 1. Now, we know that xy is equal to negative 1, so this should give us negative 2. From here, x squared plus y squared becomes 1 plus 2, which is 3. Great. So now, here's what I'm going to do next. I'll take the x squared plus y squared, and I will square it. And, of course, that's going to equal 9, because 3 squared equals 9. If you square x squared plus y squared, you get x to the fourth power plus y to the fourth power plus 2x squared, y squared, and on the right hand side you should have 9. Now we know that xy is equal to negative 1, remember? So x squared, y squared is just negative 1 squared, which is positive 1. Multiply that by 2, that's going to give you a 2. So if you subtract 2 from both sides, you're going to get x to the fourth power plus y to the fourth power is equal to 9 minus 2, which is 7. Great. My goal was to find x to the 8th and uh, y to the 8th. There are some. So let's square this one more time. This is going to give us 49 because 7 squared is 49. And on the left-hand side, we get x to the 8th plus y to the 8th plus 2x to the 4th, y to the 4th equals 49. As you know from before, this is equal to 1 and 2 times 1 equals 2. So if you subtract... 2 from both sides, you get x to the 8th power plus y to the 8th power is equal to 49 minus 2, which is equal to 47. Great. Now, what would happen if we used our first method to evaluate the expression? Well, we kind of got the fourth power from here. Obviously, the, the fourth power of the other expression would be the conjugate of this, because if you have two conjugates and you raise them to the same power, the powers are still going to be conjugates, and it's easy to prove. And then when you add these th two things, obviously you're going to get 7 from here and continue to square one more time and you'll get the answer. Okay, great. So this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.